Okay, guys, thank you so much for connecting. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being so punctual. Thank you so much for connecting to the class. Appreciate, appreciate. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here in the class. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for connecting. Thank you so much for making the effort. And thank you so much for being here. Just remember, Jennifer, your camera on. Claudia, your camera on. Jacqueline, Rebecca, your camera on, please. Remember that this is an online class, so you need to have your camera on over there. So let's go with this, guys. We are going to start with the first thing. We are going to start practicing over here so we can start asking and speaking in English. Let me go with this. Appreciate, appreciate. And let me go over here. And I will see you. And let me see. I will ask you what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Not about repeat this. What are you doing right now? What are you doing? What are you right doing now? right now? That's the question. For example, in my personal case, I will say I am working right now. Now repeat please. I am working right now. I am working, I am working right, right, now. Now. right now. That's correct. Now you tell me what are you doing right now? You have 30 seconds. Write your sentence in your notebook and tell me what are you doing right now? Please, please. 30 seconds. Go. Tell me, tell me, tell me what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me what are you doing right now? 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Please, please. What are you doing right now? Okay, let me check over here your answers. Let me check over here your sentences. Now let me go with Marco Antonio. Tell me what are you doing right now? Right now, I am studying English. Thank you so much. What about you, Juan Carlos? What are you doing right now? Uh, I am driving home, teacher. Thank you so much. What about you, Jennifer? What are you doing right now? I am listening to music. Thank you so much. What about you, Raul Perez? What are you doing right now? I am. I am cooking right now. Thank you. Claudia Maria, what are you doing right now? I am studying right now. Studying. That's the pronunciation. Studying. Studying. <laughs> Ruth Marielos, what are you doing right now? I am driving right now. Thank you. What about you, Stephanie? What are you doing right now? Good evening, teacher. Right now, I'm paying you attention. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Saul Alexander, what are you doing right now? Saul, Saul. I cannot hear you. I mean, you are speaking, but I cannot hear you. Nope. Okay, cool. Fernando Linares, what are you doing right now? Uh -huh. Right now, I am learning English. Thank you, Jacqueline Rebecca. What are you doing right now? I am studying right now. Thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate. Now, thank you guys for your answers. Now, let me go with my next question. And my next question will be this one. So, let me ask you, what is your favorite movie? Not about repeat, please. What is your favorite movie? What is your, what is favorite, your favorite movie? movie? For example, in my personal case, I will say my favorite movie is The Exorcist. The Exorcist. Not about repeat, please. My favorite movie is The Exorcist. My, my favorite, favorite movie, movie is, is The Exorcist. The Exorcist. What about you? Tell me, what is your favorite movie? You have 30 seconds. Write your sentence in your notebook and tell me what is your favorite movie, please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite movie? What is your favorite movie? What is your favorite movie, please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what is your favorite movie, please, please.
What is, what is, what is your favorite movie? Please explain. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite movie? Now let me go with it. Now let me go with, let me see, let me see, Ruth. Tell me, what is your favorite movie? My favorite uh, movie is um, Liar Liar. Thank you. What about you, Fernando? What is your favorite movie? Uh, uh, my favorite movie is uh, The Dark Knight. Thank you. What about you, Marco Antonio? What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Clockwork Orange. Thank you. What about you, Raul? What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Transformer. Thank you. Claudia, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Minions. Thank you. What about you, Juan Carlos? What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is... ¿Qué pasó ayer? Thank Creo you. What about serán. you? In English, it's Hangover, but yes, that's the movie. What about you, Saul Alexander? What is your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is Fast and the Furious. One, Fast and two, Furious. Nine. Cool. Thank you. What about you, Jennifer Raquel? What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Titanic. Titanic. What about you, Irma? What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is uh, Cadena de Favores or cool. Pain the Next. Thank you. What about you, Stephanie Jamilet? What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Princess and the Frog. The Princess and the Frog. What about you, Jacqueline, Rebecca? What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The John Wick. John Wick. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you so much. Let me go with this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your sentences. And let me share with you my next activity. So let me share with you the work. So just give me one second. So right now, guys, we are going to talk about something that we call two-part verbs. So for, when we are talking about two-part verbs, guys, we are talking about, in other words, just let me stop sharing because I will explain over here the two-part verbs. Okay, now, when we are talking about the two-part verbs, just let me delete it. Two-part verbs. Okay, let me go with this. The two-part verbs over here, and I was saying, when we are saying about the two-part verbs, we are talking about the phrasal verbs. Phrasal, phrasal verbs. In other words, we need a verb plus prepositions, prepositions. So that's why we call it two-part verbs, because we need the verb and a preposition. For example, we have the verb take, and I can use the preposition out. I have the verb take, and I use the preposition of. I have the verb take, and I use the preposition, for example, take, 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 take on, for example. I have the verb take, and I use the preposition, let me see, taking. So in this case, those are verbs that we have in two parts. We have the verb, but after the verb, you need the preposition. So let me give an example, and let me share with you a picture over here about the, the phrasal verbs. Phrasal. So let me share with you a picture. One second, please speak. And let me go with the verb take over here. So let me go with this. And let me share with you the picture over here. So if I ask you, what is the meaning of take over? Oh, take over in this case means take control. If I say take up, to begin or to start a new hobby. If I say taking, to understand or comprehend something. Take out, to remove something from a place. 
take down right information. Take off, to remove something, usually clothing or accessories. Take after, to have similar character or personality to a family member. So in this case, these are the different words. These are the different verbs. We have over here the same verb. Tenemos el mismo verbo base, but we have different meanings. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos diferentes preposiciones. So that will be. It will depend on the preposition about the meaning. Depende de la preposición para el significado de cada verbo. So every single verb will be different, different, different. Over there. Sorry, sorry. This is not the group. I'm so sorry. Let me go with your group. Let me go with the group, the group, the group. No, 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 not here. What is group? Oh my God, let me see, intermediate, intermediate, intermediate. One second, let me write about here, intermediate. Okay, here it is. So that will be the, the verb that will be over here. And over here, I will give an example using the verb take over here. So let me give you my example and I will say, I take down, I take down my English class. Not about repeat, please. I take down my English class. I take I down, take my, down English, my, English, my, English, my English class. That's correct. I take down my English class. Now, this is my example. This is my sentence. Now, you choose one verb and write one example in your notebook, please, please. please. I will give you 30 seconds so you can choose one bird and you can write your example in your notebook. 30 seconds, go. Write one example, please, please. Okay, let me go with this. Let me check your answers. Let me check your sentences. And let me go with Raul. Tell me your example, please. Your example, your example, Raul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Example, example. One sentence, one sentence. One example, one example. No, there. Okay, Irma, give me your example, please. I take off my sweater and a scarf. Yes, thank you so much. Good example over there. Stephanie, your example. Um, I take out my nails. Well, oh, thank you so much. What about you, Jacqueline, your example? Jacqueline, Rebecca? No, Jacqueline, Rebecca. Okay, Claudia, Maria, your example? They got on the train. One more time, please. They got on the train. Yes, it's cool. What about you, Ruth, Marielos, your example? I take off my black shoes. Thank you. What about you, Saul? Your example? I decide to take off my medicine. Thank you. What about you, Isabo? Your example? I take in books for my university. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Marco Antonio? Your example? Okay. I take out the photography of the table. 
Thank you. What about you, Fernando? Your example. I take up a uh, dance class. Take up, Fernando. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What about you, Carlos? Your example? No, Carlos Maravilla, no there. Okay, Jennifer, Raquel, your example? Could I take off airplane right now? Thank you so much. What about you? Come with your example, please. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Esmeralda, your example? I take off my shirt. Thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate. Now, this is one of the verbs that you can use with different prepositions. Now, let me give you another example using more verbs. And let me share with you with the verb. Teacher, you can tell me. You, you can, can you use the taking? Sure, you can use taking. Let me go with the example and let me share with you this one. Okay, just let me open the picture because this is a new verb. One second, please, that I had a problem with that picture. So let me open a new one. Okay, let me go with this. Now, this is about with the verb get. So the verb, the base is the verb get, but we have different meanings because we have different prepositions. For example, get along over here, it has a different meaning. And it has to have a friendly relationship. Get across, cause to be understood. Get up means get out of the bird, rise to your feet. Get through means succeed in finished, finishing a task. Get over means recover from illness, overcome a problem. Get away means to have a holiday or escape. Get by means manage to survive in spite, in, sorry, in spite of difficulties. Get down means dismount of or descent, get serious about topic. Getting means go inside a car room. Get off means leave a bus, train, plane, or place. Get on means start doing or continue doing an activity. And get out means become, um, become numb, news, information, etc. So it will depend on the preposition so you can give your example. It will depend on the preposition so you can get the meaning of the word. An example that I can give you over here will be this one. And let me write the sentence. Mm -mm, let me choose one, let me choose one. Okay, over this, this will be my sentence. And I will write my example and I will say, I get over COVID-19, COVID-19. Now about review, please. I get over COVID-19. I get, I get over, over COVID-19. I get over I get over, over COVID-19. Now that will be the sentence. I get over COVID-19. Now what is the meaning? That I recover from COVID-19. What are you going to do right now? You are going to write one example, one sentence using the verb get, get, get. So one example, 30 seconds. Write your example in your notebook, please. Please tell me, tell me, tell me. One example using the verb get. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Ruth, tell me, what is your question? Teacher, uh, can you share your, the picture at the sure, WhatsApp don't group? worry. Don't worry, Please? we'll send the picture Thank you. over there. Now, let me share with you the picture. Okay. There you go. So give me one example, please, using the very get. Give, 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 give me one example, please. Okay, 
Okay, let me go and check over here. Let me go with this. Now, let me give you and let me ask you about your example, please. Marco Antonio, give me your example. Okay. I will get over this depression. Yes, that's a good example. What about you, Stephanie? Give me an example. Stephanie, Stephanie, Jamilet. I get in uh, I get in a uh, university. Cool, that's cool. Thank you so much. I get in the university. What about you, Jennifer Raquel? Your example? Today I get up uh, with my friend. Thank you. What about you, Claudia Maria? Your example? I got a letter from my friend in San Miguel. Thank you. I got a letter from my friend in San Miguel. Good, good call. What about you, Saul Alexander? Your example. I get through my legs exercise. Cool. Thank you so much. What about you, Ruth Marielos? Your example. I get off the uh, airplane. Thank you. I get off an, off an airplane. That's cool. What about you, Isabel? Your example. I get up early to go study. Thank you. What about you, Irma Jacqueline? Your example. I get up early this morning and I get through the homework. Thank you. What about you, Juan Carlos? Your example. I get up from the chair. From the chair. Thank you so much. What about you, Fernando? Your example. Uh, I get up to the job. Thank you. And let me go with Jacqueline Rebecca, your example. Get, get away with my boyfriend to Guatemala. Okay, I get away with my boyfriend to Guatemala. What about you, Carla Vigail, your example? Um, I get off a bus. Thank you. What about you, Rene Giovanni, your example? Nope. Okay, cool. What about you, Esmeralda? Your example? No term. I like getting along with my brother. Perfect. What about you, Carlos Alberto? Your example? No, Carlos Alberto. Okay, let me go with this. What about you, Raul? Your example? I get up in a student. Okay, I get up in a study. Study. Thank you. Now, this is another example using the verb get. And let me give you the last example using another popular verb. Let me see. We are going to use the verb go. So let me go with the verb go. And let me open the picture. Just let me copy the picture. And I will send the picture in WhatsApp. One second, please. Okay, let me go over here. Let me go with this. Okay, we are going to talk about the very go. For example, if I say go after, go after means chase or follow somebody, try to get something. If I say go up, it means rise, increase, become higher or be built. If I say go ahead, it means happen to be done or stop. If I say go away, it means leave a person or place. If I say go back, return. If I say go down, it means fall to the ground, become reduced, price, amount, or quantity. If I say go for, choose, like, or admire. Go in or go into, it means enter a room or a house. If I say go off, explode, stop working or functioning. If I say go on, it means continue, happen or take place. If I say go out, it means leave your house to go to a special event or to stop burning. And if I say go over, it means examine or check something carefully. So I will give you my example using the verb go. And I will give you the example over here. And I will say, I... I got off my bus. Now, everybody, repeat, please. I got off my bus. 
I go off. 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 My boss. In other words, I stop working for my boss. That's my example. Now you have 30 seconds. Write your example in your notebook and tell me with your example, please, using the, pre the phrase adverb go. You have 30 seconds. Create your example. Create, create, create your example, please, please. Give me, give me, give me one example, please, please. Give me, give me, give me one example, please, please. Give me one example, give me one example, please, please. Okay, let me go with this. And let me check over here your sentences. Now let me go with Saul Alexander. Give me your example, please. I go for football. Okay, that's cool. What about you, Jennifer? Your example? I go back my home tomorrow. Thank you, I go back home. Thank you so much. What about you, Juan Carlos? Your example? I go back home. Thank you. What about you, Claudia Maria? Your example? I got you. I got my home. Tommy. Okay. Thank you so much. What about you, Ruth? Your example? I go away and leave my grandma in the airport. Thank you. What about you, Isabel? Your example? I go on in my English class at night. Thank you. What about you, Irma Jacqueline? Your example? I go back to my house after the work. Thank you. And what about you, Fernando? Your example? I go back to the stadium. Thank you. What about you, Marco Antonio? Your example? Okay. I went off when I had a better opportunity. Thank you. What about you, Stephanie? Your example? I have to go back to my sister's house. Thank you so much. What about you, Jacqueline? Your example? I go out work in the morning. Thank you. I go out for walking, I would say. What about you, Carla? Your example, Carla Vigayu? I go away to my boyfriend's house every weekend. Cool. Thank you. What about you, Rene Giovanni? Your example? No, Rene. Okay. What about you, Esmeralda Isabel? Your example? No, it's been I, I go back to my home. Thank you. And Carlos Alberto, your example, please. Carlos, Carlos. I go work. Uh -huh. I go, I go in my work. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate. Now, this is about, guys, two far verbs. And over here, we have another picture with more verbs. For example, we have over here, just let me make the, the screen big so you can see the letters and you can see the verbs. And just give me one second, please. Let me clean my screen. So if I say ask for, we have clean up, we have can out, we have can in, we have keep clean, we have let out, we have pick up, we have put away, we have take off, we have take out, we have throw out, etc. So these are the majority of the verbs that we can use when we have two par verbs. And I will share this picture over here in WhatsApp so you can have more examples. But what is the main purpose of these guys? Just to memorize the verbs. You need to memorize the verbs, you need to memorize in this case, and let me share with you the verbs over here. Okay, now this is the verb. And you just need to memorize, 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 memorize. That's the only way. Let's continue with this. And let's go with this. Now over here we have a conversation. And let's read the conversation over here. And it says, please turn down the TV. I have to study. 
I'm sorry, I will turn it down. It's still too loud. All right, I will turn it up. I will go watch this show in my room. Thanks, no problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They are not mine, and these books are yours, actually. Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry, I guess I am kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. Uh, that's okay. I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy too. So this is about the conversation. And over here, we have the verbs turned down. We have also the verb turned off. We have the verb put away. And we have the verb also over here. Let me see. No, only those ones. So those are the two part verbs that we need to practice. So for this, let me share with you the conversation. Here you have the conversation. And right now, help me to read the conversation, please, please. Let's go with Marco Antonio. Help me to read the conversation. Please turn down the TV, please. Okay. Uh, please turn down the TV. I have to study. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll turn it up. I'll turn it down. It still too loud. All right. I'll turn it off. I'll go to watch this show in my room. Thanks. No problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They are not mine. And this book are yours. Actually, why don't you put them away? I'm sorry. I guess I kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy too. Thank you so much, Marco. What about you, Juan Carlos? Can we read? Maravilla. Mm -hmm. Yes. Please turn on the TV. I had to study. I'm sorry. I'll turn uh, I down. It's still too long. All right. He'll turn in off. He'll he'll go watch. This show is my room. Thanks. No problem. This blouse and so much so. Uh -huh. The place uh, in Sus Ames, Rodrigo, your clothes and over the place. They are mine. I this good are used actually. Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry. I guess I came of uh, nervous about my exam tomorrow. Thanks. Okay. I know how you feel. This what? exam drive my craze too. Thank you so much. What about you, Claudia Maria? Come to read. Okay. Please turn down the TV. I have to study. I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. It down. It is still too low. All right. I turn in off. I'll go wash this chow in my room. One second, please. Continue. Thank, thanks. No problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They're not mine. And these books are yours. Actually, why don't you Put them away. I'm sorry. I guess I'm kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I could know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy too. Thank you so much. What about you, Kevin to read, please? Raul Perez, Kevin to read. Please turn on the TV. I have to study. 
I'm sorry, it's tour is done. It's still too low. All right, it's tour off. It go watch this show in my room. Thanks, no problem. This play is sure a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are over the place. Mm -hmm. They are not my and the books are your actuality. Why, why don't you put the away? I'm sorry. I get up. I cry all my nerves about my exams tomorrow. Thanks. Okay. I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy too. Thank you so much. What about you, Irma? Come to read. Please turn down the TV. I have to study. I'm sorry. I'll turn turn it down. It's style too loud. loud. All right. I I'll turn turn off. I will go watch this show in my room. Thanks, no problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all are all over the place. They are not mine, and these books are yours, actually. actually. Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry, I guess I am kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I now I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy too. Thank you so much. What about you, Ruth Marielos? Help me to read, please. Okay. Please turn down the TV. I have to start it. I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. It's still too loud. All right. I'll turn it off. I'll go watch this show in my room. Thanks, no problem. This place is so a mess, Rodrigo. Your clothes are are all all over the place. They're not mine, and these books are yours. Actually, why don't you why don't you put them away? I'm sorry. I guess I'm kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. It's now it. I know how you feel. Those exam drive me crazy too. Cool. Thank you so much. What about you, Kevin, to read, please, Fernando? Please turn down the TV. I have to study. I'm sorry. I'll turn it out. I still too loud. All right. I turn it up. I will watch this show in my room. Thanks. No problem. This place is such a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They're not mine, and these books are yours, actually. Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry. I guess I'm kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy, too. Thank you so much. What about you, Kevin? Read the boom. Please turn down the TV. I have to study. I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. It is still too loud. All right, I'll turn it off. I'll go watch the show in my room. Thanks, no problem. This place is just a mess. Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They're not mine. And this book, are you actually? Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry. I guess I am keen of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how you feel. Does exam drive my crazy too? Thank you so much. What about you, Abigail Aguilar? Can you read? Please turn down the TV. I have to start. I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. It's still too loud. All right. I'll turn it off. I'll go watch this show in my room. Thanks. No problem. This place is such a mess. 
Rodrigo, your clothes are all over the place. They're not mine, and these books are yours, actually. Why don't you put them away? I'm sorry, I guess. I'm kind of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay, I know how you feel. Those exams drive me crazy too. Cool, thank you so much. What about you, Tell me to read, please? Let me see. Jacqueline Rebecca, come on to read. Okay, please turn down the TV. I have to study. I'm sorry. I'll tur turn down. It's still too loud. All right. I'll turn it off. I'll go watch this show in my room. Thanks. No problem. This place is such a mess, Rodrigo. Your clothes are, are all over the place. They're not mine. And these books are your actually. Why don't, why don't you put them away? I'm sorry. I guess I can of nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know. How how you feel? Those exams drive my crazy too. Thank you so much. What about you, Rene? Come to read. Hey, please turn down the TV. I had to study. I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. It's still too loud. All right. I'll turn it off. I got wise this shot in my room. Uh, thanks, no problem. This place is sure a mess, Rodrigo. Your clothes, your clothes are are all are all over the place. They are not main, and these boots are your actually. Why don't you put them away? Uh, I'm sorry, I guess I came out ner nervous about my exam tomorrow. That's okay. I know how you feel. Those exams drive my craze, my craze too. Crazy to drive me crazy too. Now let me ask you, what is the meaning according to the text, according to the conversation of Turn down. What is the meaning? Apagar. Apagar. Yes, we can Apagar. say over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So that will be, what will be the meaning of turn it off? Apagar. Yes. Apagar. What will be the meaning of, let me see, put them away. Put away. Quitar del camino del paso. Yes. Claro. So that would be the meaning. So those are the, the two part verbs that we have over here. Those are the two part verbs that we have in the conversation. Just let me share them over here in WhatsApp so you can remember them. And let me go with this. Now, if you cover here, just give me one second. What is the conversation? No, it is not this one, either this one, this one it is. So right now we are going to create the sentences. We are going to practice and let me go with this. And it says, over here it says, please take out the trash. And it says, okay, I will take it out. Over here I would say, please put the dishes away. So you need to answer, okay, I will put the dishes away. So you got two minutes. No, I will give you three minutes so you can complete the five sentences. So please complete the five sentences over there. Let me, let me share the picture over here in WhatsApp so you can have the exercise. Just give me one second. Okay, there you go. Let me go with this. 
One second, please. One moment. One second, guys. One moment, one moment. I am texting my boss, so this is important. Now, in the meantime, you have to create... One second. Now, you have to create the sentences over here. You have to create your examples. Trios, remember to use the two-part verbs. I will give you the three minutes so you can complete the five sentences. And you can start three minutes. One second, three minutes. Let's go over here. Okay, there you have three minutes. Go. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me your example, please, please, using the three verbs. I mean, the five sentences using the two part verbs. You have three minutes, create your examples, please, please. Give me, give me, give me your examples, please, please. You have two minutes. Write your examples in your notebook, please, please. You got 50 seconds. Forty seconds. Thirty, thirty seconds. Twenty seconds only. Only fifteen seconds. Okay, let me go with it. Now let's start with it says, please put the dishes away. What is the correct answer? Uh -huh. Okay. Not okay. I'll put okay, I away. away. Okay, I will. I will 
Put them, put them away. Thank you so much. That's correct. Hang out the towels. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll okay. I'll up eat up eat towers. I will we do hang up. I will hang up them. I will hang up them. Now what about number four? Turn up the lights, please. Okay, okay, I turn off them. Okay, I'll okay. turn them off. And the last one, turn on the radio. Okay, I turn on. Okay. I'll, I will turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. So that will be. Now let's go with this one. Please, please take out the trash. <clears throat> please take out the trash. Out the trash. Okay, I will take it out. Hey, okay. I take it out. Please put the dishes away. Please put the dishes away. Okay, I will put them away. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I'll I'll put away. 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 hang up the towels. Hang up the towels. Okay, I'll hang up them. Okay, okay. I'll hang them. Up up them. them. That's correct. Now, okay, it says turn off the lights, please. Turn uh, off the lights, please. The light, please. Turn off the lights. That's correct. Okay, I'll turn them off. Okay, okay I'll I'll turn, turn them, turn them off. off. Now, the last one, turn on the radio. Turn on the radio. Okay, I'll turn it on. Okay, okay I'll okay, turn it, it on. Now, and those are the two part verbs. You are doing good. You are doing nice over there. Thank you so much for your time. And right now, let me pass the attendance to over here. Just let me go with the video. Sorry, with your correct attendance. Uh, let me go with this. Just give me one second. Okay, let's go with Tuesday. Okay, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto Martinez. One second. No. No, Carlos Alberto Martinez. Okay. No, Present Carlos teacher. Alberto. Okay, thank you so much. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you, Esmeralda Isabel. Esmeralda Isabel. No, no Esmeralda. Okay, no Esmeralda. Irma Jacqueline. Present teacher. Thank you, Isabel Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Jacqueline Elizabeth. No, Jacqueline Elizabeth. Okay, cool. Jacqueline Rebecca. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Raquel. Here. Juan Carlos Cubias. Juan Carlos. No, Juan Carlos Bonilla. Not here. What about Juan Carlos Maravilla? I'm here, teacher. Present. Thank you. What about Carla Vigail? Carla Abigail. Not Present here. teacher. Oh, yes, it's here. Luis Fernando. Present. Marco Antonio. Present. Raul Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Rene Giovanni. No, Rene. Okay, Ruth Marielos. Here, teacher. Thank you. Let me go with. Saul Alexander. Present. Saul, yes. Present. And Stephanie Jamilet. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, Stephanie. No, Stephanie. Okay, no, Stephanie. Okay, just to confirm. No, Rene Giovanni over here. No, Juan Carlos Bonilla. No, Jacqueline Elizabeth. 
Dame si fue Missing. No, Irma Jacqueline. Present teacher Irma Jacqueline. Oh, present thank you so present. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me see Irma, 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 Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Let me see. Yes, you are here. I'm so sorry. I read mm -hmm. wrong. It is Jacqueline Elizabeth. My mistake. And then Esmeralda Isabel, not here. Esmeralda Isabel? Nope. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, thank you so much for connecting, guys. Thank you so much for being here, Then, Thank you so much for making the effort. And let's go with my next activity over here. Just let me stop sharing. And let me share with you the activity over here. Uh, teacher present. Tell me. One second, please. And let me see. Giovanni, Giovanni. Do, 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 do. Let me, Giovanni, it's here. Okay, let me put over here. Okay, I already put them. Thank you so much for confirming. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate a lot. And let me go with this. Now, over here, we are going to read a conversation. I mean, we are going to listen to a conversation over here. So please pay attention to the audio. And let me go with this one. Let me go with this. Just give me one second. Let me play the audio. Read and listen to a conversation at an art show. Teo, this is just great. I had no idea you had so much talent. Thank you. I mean it. Your work is very impressive. It's so nice of you to say that. I don't think I'm particularly talented. I just love to paint. Believe it or not, these were taken by Paul Johns. Your boss? How do you like that? They're really quite good. I know. He doesn't look like the artistic type, does he? No. I had no idea he took photos. I guess you can't always judge a book by its cover. Hey, this is an interesting piece. I kind of like it. You do? I find it a little weird, actually. But that's what makes it so fascinating. Well, to each his own. I guess I'm just not really into abstract art. Yep. Now let's go with this. So this is about the conversation that we are going to practice tomorrow. So let me go with this. And it says, Tia, this is just great. I got no idea you had so much talent. Thank you. I mean it. You work, it's very, your work is very impressive. It is so nice of you to say that. I don't think I am particularly tan talented. I just love to paint. Believe it or not, these were taken by Paul Jones, your boss. How do you like that? And they are really quite good. I know he doesn't look like the artistic type, does he? No, I have no idea he took that. Uh, the photos. I guess you can't always judge a book by its cover. Hey, this is an interesting piece. I kind of like it. You do? I find it a little weird, actually. But that's what makes it so fascinating. Well, to each his own, I guess I am just not really into an abstract art. So this is about the conversation that we're going to bring tomorrow. So right now, guys, this is all for today's class. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you so much for being here. See you tomorrow. God bless you. And don't remember, I mean, don't forget to leave your homework places, please. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful Good. night. See you, see you, see you. Thank you. Good Bye. night. Bye.